Over the last five or six years, uh, we've had a, a collaboration with Thermo and I've been using the uh, Exactive system uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. We've been looking at uh, profiling, so metabolite profiling, and also fit and behaviour of certain uh, pharmaceutical and pesticides. So we've been working with uh, Thermo Fisher for about the last five or six years and using the Thermo Scientific Exactive um, LC high resolution mass spec. Uh, we'll be looking at fate and behaviour of metabolites in the environment and also looking at general metabolomics and, and profiling. My team, uh, the, the chemical profiling team, is, is mainly metabolomics but across uh, Ferroscience Limited we look at targeted analysis for pesticides, veterinary medicines, mycotoxins as well as non-targeted analysis for food safety and authenticity as well as various R&D projects across Europe. Um, is that, whether that's FP7 or uh, Innovate UK projects, for example. So I would say that what makes a good uh, software product for high resolution mass spec is three, three things really. Uh, one, I would say, is user-friendliness. Um, you don't want to be um, having to write scripts or going through convoluted procedures to try and get a, an answer or at least try and um, get a feel for the data. Uh, you want something that an analyst can, can use in a nice workflow system. Um, because something that's too difficult will put you off immediately. Secondly, I would say accuracy. So if you're doing procedures such as retention time alignment, uh, peak picking, um, deadducting or deisotoping, it needs to be accurate. And so I would recommend that people check these software programs with their own spiked um, compounds or, or, or maybe a sample where they know there's particular compounds in there to check the accuracy of, of, the, of the software. And thirdly, I would say flexibility. So the ability, once you've loaded your data into the software, you can go back, change things quite easily. If you've accidentally missed a data file out or you want to add another data file, uh, that you can do that without having to start again from the beginning and creating a new experiment, because that can be time consuming and quite frustrating. But we have a collaboration with, with uh, Thermo Fisher on their software products, so we will look and, and help and give uh, advice and, and opinion on their software. Uh, personally, I don't, I don't write scripts. We have PhD students at University of York that do that sort of thing. We work closely with the maths and statistics department at the University of York. Going back to my first point, you can get to your answer or at least get to a point where you can evaluate the data uh, quicker and, and easier uh, so you're not spending days waiting for data to process for example. Uh, obviously this is related to IT and, and, and other hardware, uh, the power of that and, and the development of that. Any analyst can walk up and and, and press uh, easy buttons, whether that's iPad or, or, or smartphone-based software, um, where you can get solutions quite simply. 